This is a quick demo of Safari's Source Sheet Builder. Let's get started by adding a source to our source sheet. We can add source. Start typing in the name of the text that you want. Safari will give you some suggestions about texts that it knows about already, as well as instructions for filling out the chapter and verse uh, of the text that you want. Um, you can add a single verse, or you can go and add ranges of verses as well. And then there it is in our sheet. Let's add another source. This time say something from the Mishnah. Now it's in our sheet. These sources are now in our sheet in English as well as in Hebrew. In the options menu, you can toggle between the different views. You can have a bilingual view and make your choice if you want them to be side by side like this or one on top of each other like this. Um, give a sheet a name by clicking on the title. Similarly, you can click to edit the text of the sources that you bring in if you want to give highlight to particular words, or if you want to say add some question inside of the source, you can do that there. You may also want to say trim out parts of things if you're only interested in a part of a source, you can do it like that. Um, let's save the sheet. You only need to save the sheet once. After it's saved, it'll get its own link, and all edits that you make after this point will just be saved automatically. So you can just work, and it will be saved in real time. Um, some other things you can do here if you want to reorder the sources, grab the citation, and you can just drag them around to change their order. You can give each source a custom title if you want, like this. You can also add subsources and comments below a particular source, or you can add bigger comments <coughs> um, here where you can type in any words you have to say. Um, some other options that you've got is you can choose to number your sources if you'd like, and you can also choose to make your source sheet public, in which case it'll show up for all of the other users on Safari as a public source sheet. Um, this source sheet is now ready to print. If we wanted to, I can just click, click to um, print this source sheet. I could also, from here, say choose to save it as a PDF. Um, but equally well as printing it on paper, this electronic source sheet can be shared now by copying, pasting the link, sending it out over email or in Facebook. Anyone who, is, uh, who has that link will get to see this whole sheet online, but they'll also be able to have the context from Safari. So they see some source that you've chosen, they can easily click to open that up and see the entire text in context, along with other commentaries that might be available in Safari for it. Thank you.